Xiaomi has recently launched the Mi 6X in the Chinese consumer market and today we are going to talk about its specifications and its rumors and it might be called as the Mi A2 in the some Asian countries so let's stay tuned for the video. start from the design first as it is the most important aspect of every consumer market so the Mi A2 might be a metal unibody and bringing uh, antenna lines a more refined uh, version of the Mi A1 and it will be the first Mi A1 series to bring a bezel-less display and which will be the 18 by 9 aspect ratio and full HD plus display it will be 6 inches display and it will be full HD plus resolution as you see in the Redmi Note 5 Pro so the second most important aspect for every consumer market and every consumer of uh, any country might be the processor and its RAM. So the Mi A2 is bringing the Snapdragon 660 which is a really powerful processor. It is an octa-core CPU which rocks the Adreno 509 GPU and it is really powerful. And in addition to this it is bringing a 4 gig RAM variant with the help of 6 gig RAM variant and it is not only a single 6 gig RAM variant but there are two 6 gigs of RAM variant one is with the 64 gigs of storage and the other one is the 128 gig storage the Xiaomi has eliminated the 3 gig and 32 gig storage variant from this uh, so it might be priced some way higher Coming to the battery size of this device, the Xiaomi Mi A1 was a good battery device. It had just uh, 3080 milliamp hours of battery cell which was enough for moderate to high usage but it was all due to the Snapdragon 625 which is a power efficient processor but the Snapdragon 660 is a power hungry processor. So the Xiaomi has decided somewhere backward. They have decided a 3100 milliamp hour of battery cell which might not be enough and with a bigger display, uh, uh, tiny bezels and the bigger processor and more powerful processor I think this is a wrong decision by Xiaomi that they have uh, included a smaller battery in this one so let's say uh, not might be the case because the Xiaomi may upgrade its battery for the Indian consumers or the other markets so let's see what the Xiaomi has to bring to the table coming to the software the Mi 6x rocks the Mi UI in the Chinese uh, variant because there is no Google services in the uh, China but coming to the other markets around the world it should uh, contain the Android version and it might be the stock Android version because the Mi A1 was the stock Android device collaborated with the Google with the Xiaomi so it is safe to assume that the Mi A2 might be a stock Android version as well to the camera of this device the camera was a really strong point in the Mi A1 but the front camera really lacked something which is improved in the Mi 6X which might be called as the Mi A2 so the front camera is bumped up to 20 megapixel and last year it was just 5 megapixels of a sensor with f2 and this year we are going to see a f2 uh, f2 aperture camera with a 20 megapixel air powered camera and the rear cameras are improved as well so the last year Mi A1 included a 12 plus 12 megapixel camera with a telephoto lens and this year we are going to see a depth sensing camera instead of a telephoto lens uh, it is a 20 plus 12 megapixel dual camera setup and the additional 12, uh, 12 megapixel is the depth sensing camera which might be used for the depth sensing for portrait shots and the depth effect and it is a 1.75 aperture so it might give you low light extreme good shots like seen in the S7 because it had the same kind of aperture but let's see what the Xiaomi has to bring on the table another awkward decision made by the Xiaomi for the Mi 6X as they have removed the headphone jack and it might be not worth it because the headphone jack is an important feature if you consider it to be a good device in the 2018 and I'm not against the wireless headphones at all but the wireless headphones require you to have batteries and you have to charge them that's the biggest problem of the wireless batteries if it has the micro SD card slot and it also has a type C converter and it is coming with a Qualcomm 3.0 charging capabilities which might be a real deal for some people. So lastly we are going to talk about the Mi A2 price. So last time it was priced around 250 bucks at least where I live in my country Pakistan but to uh, 
today i guess with a smaller bezels a good design full hd plus resolution qualcomm 3.0 quick charge and all this packed together with the snapdragon 660 i might consider it to be a price somewhere around 270 dollars to be a real good deal if it's priced higher than the 270 dollars it might not be a good deal for some people so see you guys this was for the video for the mi a2 launch so stay tuned for the team double a channel for more, more videos like this click on the subscribe button right now this is the reason and i'm signing out peace out